X-Files holster comes with multiple items. One of them is the MPC-100, a micropower checker. We also have a fiber inspection probe. Here we have an FIP-425B. You have cleaners. You have an FLS-241, a visual fault locator. Today we're going to talk about the MPC-100, which is the micropower checker. When you receive your MPC-100, you'll see that you have an SC connector here. So in order to be able to test LC connectors and LC fibers, you will need to have an LC adapter, which comes in a separate bag and you have over here. So this is the adapter. To tie it up to your MPC, you're simply going to remove the strap from the back. You look at this, along with the little rubber circle to put the adapter in. To put them together, you're simply going to insert the rope in this and you will loop it around like this. So it's tied to the rope and then you can just insert DLC adapter. Got to push it through so it's solid. There you go. And there you have it. And then you can just tie the other side onto the MPC, squeeze it right over here, and tighten it this way. There you go. So to test an LC fiber, you simply use your adapter, your LC adapter, remove the cap, insert it here, then remove the little protection, and then you can use an LC fiber here that you can test. The MPC-100 works in two different ways. You have manual buttons here with an LCD screen, but you can also use it with a smartphone, in this case an iPhone. So first of all, we're going to power on the MPC-100 by pushing the power button for over two seconds. Now you'll see the power is on. And then we're going to activate the Bluetooth functionality to pair it up with the phone. So you simply hold the wavelength button for over two seconds. There you go, you have the Bluetooth functionality activated. Then you will need to download the MPC-100 application by going to the App Store. Then you can just search. You can type in Expo. And the Power Checker application should come up as one of the first applications that you see. You'll simply press the install button. If you don't have an account open, it will prompt you to open your account. It will download the application. And you are now ready to open it. And then you will scan for the Bluetooth device which should appear here. Simply click on the MPC-100 and now you have the application working. For this demonstration, we'll be using a regular light source. Before testing, we're simply going to make sure that this fiber is clean. We'll use our FIP-425B to check it out. We'll simply power it up, trigger our Connectomax application, which is now connected to the probe and start live video view. We can just connect now, fiber, capture, our fiber is clean, we can proceed with the test. Now we know it's clean, but if it's not clean, you have a cleaner in your holster that you can use. Before proceeding to the test, we need to make sure that the wavelength corresponds 
to the one that we really, that we're using on our light source. So here we're using 1310. So we're simply going to click multiple time on the wavelength button here until we get to the value that we're looking for. So 1310. As you can see, the value is also changing on the application. But you can do it directly on the application by clicking on the wavelength and just scanning through the value that you're looking for. So here, 1310. There you go. With the power checker, we are actually measuring the absolute power of the light source. So we're going to stay on this tab over here. So power measurement PM. Uh, in order to get a pass or fail status, we will need to go and set a threshold in our application. In this case, it's set to minus four, but we can change it to minus five if we want to. And this is going to be our new threshold. So now we're ready to test. We're going to answer our fiber connector and see the value that we have. So here we have a pass because the power measurement is below our threshold. We also have the measurement directly on the LCD of the power checker. To save the results, you can actually do it directly on the power checker by pressing the save button once. There you go. And now the result is saved. Or you can also do it directly on the application by pressing the save button. Do you want to save the data? Yes. Now you have data saved. To view the results that you've saved, you can go on the view tab where you have all of the tests that you've performed with your device. To have a better view of those tests, you can simply click on them and then you have the details. You can share those results by pressing the share button and then it will prompt you to choose the application from which you would like to share the results. It can be text message, email, or you can simply just save it to your device. So we can go back to the result view. There you go, in this live mode. You can also view the results directly on the power checker by holding the save button over two seconds. So if I hold it, there you go. So you're now in save view. You'll see that the wavelength will alternate with um, the time and date um, with one second interval. To scan through the previous results, you will need to press the save button to go back and see the previous results. And if you want to move forward, simply press the wavelength button. And to go back in test mode, you simply hold the save button over two seconds. You're back in test mode. You can also view the live test by pressing the graph. There you go. You press start and you see the results as they come in. in. Stop and go back. To measure insertion loss, you can go into the insertion loss tab. You will need to set your reference. So click on the number here. So you have your reference. Now it's ready for you to plug in the fiber under test. Make sure you align the keys to your bulkhead and insert into the power checker. And you now have your insertion loss.